Bosque de Agua, or the Water Forest, is one of the richest ecosystems in Mexico and it is defined as one of the most biologically important regions by the country's index of biological importance. The study area encompasses the full extent of the water forest boundary at approximately 555,000 acres and is located in the Mexican Valley, near the heart of the capital city, overlapping three states, Distrito Federal, Estado de México, and Morelos. The water forest receives its name because it is the main water supply for over 22 million people in the surrounding metropolitan areas. The water forest acts like a sponge by absorbing rainfall and feeding the aquifers that supply the surrounding cities. In addition to providing precious water resources, the water forest also aids in climate regulation, carbon buildup, social recreation, and provides valuable natural resources such as timber and wildlife habitat. Unfortunately, this region faces many threats and challenges due to changes in land use by deforestation, urbanization, and road fragmentation. Managing this forest is especially difficult because of the overlapping jurisdictional boundaries. Due to the current threat the water forest is facing, there is a growing need to integrate technologies to better understand and monitor land use to support better decision making. Our team here in the USF Geospatial Analysis Lab worked with project partners to understand how the landscape of the water forest is changing over time. This will provide a better understanding of the relationship and interactions between the human and natural world. In order to achieve this goal, we performed a multi-temporal change detection analysis on 30 meter satellite imagery from 1990 to 2010. Change detection is a remote sensing technique that identifies the differences in objects or phenomenon at different snapshots in time. This technique is useful in identifying conversion of land cover from one category to another. To identify regions of change, our methods consisted of acquiring multiple images of the same scene taken in 1990, 2000, 2005, and 2010 from the Global Land Survey derived from Landsat. These products were chosen because they have been atmospherically corrected. For our analysis, we performed a supervised land cover classification along with an accuracy assessment. The image classification was grouped into five categories of land cover type, forest, urban, cropland, grassland, and woodlands. Second, image differencing was used as our change detection technique to visualize changes over time. Image differencing is an image analysis tool in ArcGIS that subtracts the brightness values of one image from the other on a per pixel basis. This analysis required multiple pre-processing and post-classification steps before a change detection analysis was achieved. Lastly, GIS was used to quantify the changes in land cover by estimating the percent area change over time. Our results show the spatial distribution of change in land cover types and an accuracy assessment of our land cover classification methods. The results of the land cover classification show substantial land cover variation throughout the time series. In 1990, the northern part of Mexico suffered a major drought affecting the water forest. Given the quality of the image and being that 1990 was a drought year, the classification method registered all of the dry vegetation as woodlands and cropland as urban areas. That means in 1990, urban areas and woodlands were overclassified, thus bringing down our overall accuracy to 76%. However, as our time series increased, overall accuracy improved. Our results also show urban growth increasing from 2000 to 2010. Our change detection results indicate a lot of change occurring in the landscape from 1990 to 2000. The values of zero represented in beige mean that these areas have not changed, while the brighter colors in orange and red indicate significant positive or negative change. Change in the positive direction represents regrowth, and change in the negative direction represents development. In the 1990 decade, forest regrowth is showing up as negative change because woodlands were overclassified in 1990. Therefore, the image differencing method registered this as a significant decrease in woodlands rather than an increase or regrowth of the forest. 
Starting in 2000 to present, you can start to see significant negative changes occurring in the southern part of the water forest. These areas were classified as urban areas, therefore these changes are more than likely due to urban growth. Classification accuracy directly influences the accuracy of the change detection. Therefore, the limitations in the study are due to the image quality of historic Landsat scenes and errors in classification due to seasonal variability. However, with further analysis, these limitations can be corrected for over time. Our results, along with final maps, will be handed off to our project partners to understand land use and land cover change in the water forest.